Hey, good morning guys. Saturday morning here at the Old Barn Homestead. My name is Gary. Um, anyway, I just thought I'd make a quick video update on this channel. I haven't uh, made one in a couple of days. Um, earlier this week, I got a call from a guy that uh, actually we made those dump pins for and we did that crane with the half inch plate and all. Um, and he was like, can you cut, you know, one inch plate on your table? And uh, he said, I'm going to go pick it up and I'm going to bring it and I'll be at your shop first thing in the morning if you can cut it for me. So uh, we, uh, we were actually able to cut it. Now, I, I'm going to overlay some footage here. I didn't really film any of it, but um, I was, I was, and I didn't, unfortunately, I didn't get an edge shot of what it looked like coming off the table. But uh, we went. I think the book calls for, um, it, it's confusing information. Some people, you know, some parts of the manual, you know, will show you metrics and stats going up to three quarter inch. Um, and then there's other information that um, shows up to one and an eighth inch for the, for the PowerMax 85 uh, unit down there. So anyway, I, I just told the guy, look, I don't know if I can cut it or not. You know, it's uh, it's at the maximum of the limit. But if you want to give it a try, you know, we can give it a try. And it's a it's a big T plate that they put on the back of the dump trucks and mount some other stuff to. And it's it's uh, it was 34 and an eighth inches wide, 34 long, and it had a T shape to it. So he didn't have a CAD drawing or anything, but he had dimensions. So I just you know drew it up real quick and. And uh, we, we were able to cut it. He was just going to do one to start with on a, and bring a half inch or a half of a sheet of one inch plate. And then he, um, when he showed up here, he had a full sheet and, um, and wanted three of them cut out. And so we were running this thing at nine inches a minute. It took over an hour to cut, cut that out going that slow. But the only issue I had was, um, it stopped it in the middle of, of one point it stopped cutting and threw a code on the machine and I I don't know if it was a 30 or what but let me see if I've got that tip here not the tip but the electrode yeah look at this I mean here's you know I don't know if I've got I mean here's one that's that's in pretty decent shape it's you know starting to see some wear on it but you see how the end of that shape there hopefully this is the focus is staying good on this but look at this i mean it just completely melted the end of that and was starting to eat away at it and you'll see that it's a little bit it was starting to get i mean it was just i don't know it was about an eighth inch shorter there and it had melted itself down in there um to the tip and i i would not ever seen that before so you know um you used up a, a set of a, an electrode and a tip to to cut that um, you know, I don't know if that's common for that kind of thing or not, but, you know, cutting sheet metal, I can cut a lot out, um, you know, for, for that. So, um, I mean, I, I, let me rephrase that. I can cut quite a bit of stuff on the 45 amp tip of sheet metal, um, and, um, out of one tip, it'll go quite a while on one tip is what I'm trying to say. So here's, um, I had an order for one small flag come in and um, on, uh, on through eBay and um, somebody, the lady, you know, I emailed her and said, hey, I'm gonna be working on this in the next few days and uh, I've gotten a little bit behind and so it's gonna be later in the week. And um, she said it was for her son that was in the military and I usually ask for people's phone number and I'll just text them updates as I'm making the product for them um you know just so they can see that i'm i'm not you know taking their money and just sitting around that i'm i'm gonna make you know i'm making progress with it so um you anyway, know i went ahead and cut three of these out even though only one of them sold because i know another order is going to come in and this one got messed up you can see it didn't finish it there and i may be able to come in and do some hand work it was just about to get finished and it i don't know what happened but it drugged the tip here and then and it locked up the entire machine and the controller. So I had to reboot it, which caused it to lose its home position. Um, and once you do that, you can't restart it over. This is something kind of weird right here. I noticed these little fuzzies that popped up 
you know, and I don't know, this tip's been in there for a while. I don't know if that's the tip going out on it or what, but um, anyway, a friend of mine down the street that actually cuts my grass here, uh, asked, he's <clears throat> asked me a couple times about a Glock sign for the, you know, the pistol handgun. And, um, and he said even, even probably more popular than that is the Glock girl one, if you can do one of those in high gloss pink. So I <laughs> uh, did the artwork on that one and cut it out. This will be the back plate for that. That'll be black. This will be candy pink. And I just ordered some candy pink because I don't stock candy pink because, you know, we don't do any gay stuff here um, unless we're making something for these guys here. Then we, you know, then we have lots of gay colors. But other than that, we don't really, you know, do much gay stuff i'm sure i have somebody gay watching this channel and i'm not i don't really care if you're gay you know I, it doesn't matter to me you do what you want to do if you like metal work and you like cool stuff and that's all it's that's all i care about but um anyway there's my politically correct correction so um la dodgers we i'm going to overlay that I, I uploaded that to um to Instagram and Facebook for those of you that follow me on that channel um, But I cut out an LA Dodger one that uh, I think is gonna be gonna be pretty cool and this one is for an order um, and Yeah, so I just uh, grabbed a JPEG and It I was just amazingly surprised at how clean it came over. It required very little Artwork on it. I probably spent 30 minutes on the artwork getting it cleaned up where it could be cut and uh, this this here and this is going to be blue, and the and the back of it is going to be bare metal, clear coated. So um, anyway, that's that's that. Um, I'm going to let you guys go. I just thought I'd give you an update uh, today, Saturday. What I am working on is, and I'm surprised nobody's gotten onto me yet. But you know, this is the stuff that just, I mean, really drives me crazy because, I mean, you could see what's happening over here you know I've, i keep saving boxes and saving boxes because i need them to ship stuff out that i sell you know and any size box is good because you never know what size i'm going to be making of something but it's starting to look just look like a dump over here and it really annoys me because now like when i'm sitting in this chair working i might kick something and then here boxes are falling off and and then this is just out of control you know it's I've still yet to come up with a good solution to repurpose this, these carcasses. I just, you know, I need to get better at it um, for sure. I'm thinking that that I need to, instead of nesting all this stuff in CAM, is actually nested in CAD, and then in the CAD program itself, come through and have some little cuts that cut these sections apart. So that I can at least get it stacked up. And I'll do that sometimes manually. You know, like here's some some that I've cut off manually using rip cuts. But I could spend 30 minutes, you know, jogging this thing around the table doing rip cuts on small little, you know, one or two inch cuts to separate the sheet out. Um, but anyway, so for now, I'm just going to take this to scrap metal. Not these, not these bigger sheets back here that are like partial sheets. But these ones here that are all just, I mean... I've just got so much of it. It's like, what would I ever do with it? You know, I, I mean, I hear you, you know, it's little jobs, you know, and cut out little things here and there, but it's just, I'm not really getting that much of it in. And, um, you know, one of the things I talked to four fields furniture about is, you know, cutting out different shapes and just selling them online, just have a complete inventory of, you know, uh, various squares and, rounds and you know and then so if i were to nest start nesting various shapes and sizes and thicknesses of of just steel things and put them on ebay in different places you know people are always looking for for that i think you know i was selling a couple guys bought these from me and i sold these for like uh seven or eight dollars a piece half inch round uh, i think these are five inches round and uh, the orders that they gave me were I think one guy got five inch another guy got six or seven inch i can't remember what it was um but you know i don't know if people need that many things in the thinner material like this is three sixteenths most of this in here 
So let me know what you guys think on that. Leave me a comment and uh, let me know what you think. Um, and we will go from there. All right, guys. But the thing I kept trying to say is I'm getting rid of this stuff. I, I, I got to clean this up. I'm going to thin down these boxes. I can't. I'm just tired of looking at it. You know, I try to keep the shop, you know, relatively clean. And it just gets out of hand on me. You just see how, you know, this is kind of remnants from the other morning when the guy showed up. I, you know, I took, I went down to one clamp, uh, one magnet, so that I could lift off the sections, the individual cuts of that one inch plate. You know, and I need to put that back together and just, I don't know, you just see how congested and cluttered it gets. And uh, so, anyway, I'm going to get this stuff cleaned up and I'm going to get this artwork stuff and start prepping that. I've got one more Glock design that I want to come up with and cut on this space I have left in here and um, make those as a couple of prototypes and we'll see if anybody, see if I can sell some of those and um yeah so anybody wants a wants one of these flags and i know joe, joe rudder gosh i just i keep meaning to get pricing for him on on shipping something to germany it's just i just haven't done it so i'll, I'll definitely do that um and uh anyway we'll uh let you guys go and talk to you soon see you